York, New York, big city of dreams. New York, New York, big city of dreams. We outside, damn it. Let's go. What's going on? This is Jay Ellis from the Nick of Time Show here giving you that Knicks talk just in the nick of time. And the Knicks beat the Brooklyn Pink Jobs or the Nets, whatever you want to call them. 105 to 93. Jalen Brunson really didn't play well again. He was kind of struggling, but that's okay because Dante and Deuce was on the case, all right? But let's read these stats real quick. Isaiah Hartenstein gives you 17 points, four steals, two assists, two blocks, and nine rebounds. Let's go. Let's go, Hartenstein. Josh Hart gives you six points, 10 rebounds, and five assists. Brunson gives you 17 points and nine assists. Deuce. Goose gives you 26 points. It ties the career high, six threes on the night. Dante, brain on. Dante's Inferno gives you 31 points, five assists, six rebounds, two steals, and a block. Come on. The Knicks not getting to the line anymore ever since the rule change. Only had 12 free throws to the next 15, but it didn't matter because the Knicks had 26 second chance points on the night and end up beating the nets again so cry cry all you nets fans all three of y'all and nets and mccall bridges i want you to feel this pain i love beating the nets i love it i love it i bask in it i can't wait i cannot wait to email my one lonely nets friend at work and torture him <laughs> but we're gonna talk about it all the good the bad and the good. And before I do that, I'm gonna introduce you to my guys, all right? First and foremost, it's the man, the myth, the legend, the guy with the stats and the facts. Raji's in the building. Always good to beat the Nets and to respond to Roberto Rivera. Yeah, you're right. We did say he was already at the deadline, but he proved us wrong, all right? Let's let's, let's keep it easy. Let's keep it cool, all right? Listen, we're going to have to do this conversation. We're going to have to do this conversation, of course. We've been having it all week, all month, and it's going to it's gonna continue happening, all right? Of course, you already know the Latin assassin, my guy, the Escobedo. How you doing, Lee? What up, y'all? Glad to have Ryan back. And Deuce McBride is who we wanted Dennis Smith Jr. to be. Mm. I, I, actually, I think Deuce McBride is who we wanted uh, Quentin Grimes to be. But that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> that is another story you're right <laughs> not a shot quit. still 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 grimes still grimes fan but i mean three and d is pretty much what he is right now um talk about it yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and of course we already know it is a rookie of the year xd1 baller ebony mad nick fan has been so mad lately how you doing ebony <laughs> I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, uh, you see the kids. You see the kids. I see you see what happens when you let pe the kids play consecutively too. You learn on the job. You get more comfortable. You see, my my man Deuce was had a bounce today. Oh yeah, he was creating mm -hmm. space for his mm -hmm. own shot today. Mm -hmm. And Jericho Sims, quiet as kept his defense turned around. Yeah. Listen, listen. I saw. I saw. Listen. I was like, wait a minute. Me, right, we have to be talking about Sims minutes. It's exactly. <laughs> I know we're gonna get into that, so I'm gonna leave that for the show. But I just, I was just very proud of our, our still the kid, the remaining kids <laughs> that we have, and which, when you give them play and production, they 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 step up, and I, and I, I I just love it. I love it. I love this team. Again, like you mentioned, Brunson was off, and Absolutely. we had others step up for him. Yeah, that's 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 the beauty of today's game because Brunson. He, this was like one of the worst shooting games he's had in a while. You know, I think he shot 27% from the field. The physicality, the, you know, you, you know, the referees have really turned a, a blind eye to some more of the physicality. And Brunson wasn't getting calls already, but now it's even worse. And I think it's kind of thrown him off a little bit this game. Combined with the 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 road trip, we, we had to be in Denver and he had to be the guy in Denver, come back at 5 p.m. yesterday, right back into the flow of things today. So he was a little off, but thankfully, we had Dante, we had Deuce, we had Hartenstein, and others to pick up the slack. So I, I, I'm i going to toss it to you, Ebony. What did you think of the game? What stood out for you? 
Here we go. What stood out was our defense. I had asked, and I was, you know, you ask, and I guess you shall receive. I asked for in the pregame your take, Knicks, if we can hold them to 80 to 90 points. Mm. And we did 91. So, shouts out to the Knicks. Yes, sir. You know, I'm trying this manifestation thing. I manifest when when uh Alec Burt go to the baseline. I, I try every time, like, <laughs> Don't turn the ball over. Please do something good. Let this be a good possession. You know, like manifest something good out loud. Sometimes it work, like I said. Most time it don't. But I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> and um, I just I just love that our defense and it continued. We were able to get iHeart and Brunson some reps. Like they were able to sit out a, a long period of time mm -hmm. in that second half. Um, in the first half, I had I had said out loud, all we gotta do is buckle down our defense. They were shooting. They had like three or four people. I think about three people in double digits around halftime. They were getting everybody involved. Cam Thompson, Mikel Bridges. Everybody was in, yeah. you know, getting good shots, good look, good looks. I think the game kind of turned around when they 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 had like a lineup first with with, with Sims and the starters, and mm -hmm. they took Brunson out and it continued in the defense and his ability to, to to shut down pick and rolls, like his ability to switch on any and everybody on the team, like his perimeter defense is that good that he comes up so high he was able to stunt a lot of their offense and also cool their shooting off mm. he was in everybody's face forcing them to shoot before they wanted to or pass before they wanted to so shouts out to 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 sims for that and deuce looking so comfortable creating so much space for himself on his own shot like he is learning this is what you know Playing your people, you learn on the job. You get more comfortable in your spot. You feel you learn from the last time you made a mistake. Like I'm not doing that again this time. I know what to do next time, kind of thing. And you seeing that, you're seeing that, you're seeing that he's he's watching film because he's getting better and and running a point. It was a long period of time again where Brunson was off the floor. Yep. <laughs> so again, he is learning. He is learning. And games like this is good to get your your confidence up and see what else you have. And I, I was very very. Uh, very happy with the, the others, as they like to call them. The Devo. Yeah. Shouts out to Devo. Devo, man. Did not depend on his jump shot today. He, he hit it. He started hitting them, but he was going to the basket. And I think that's what we were missing in Denver. Yes. That points in the paint, you know, getting into the rim, getting to buckets that way. Where we, I feel like we missed Julius and, and Mitch big time in that game versus uh, Denver. I agree. But today... Yeah, but today they were like, nah, not today. Josh Hart, Devo going attack mode, attack mode, attack mode. The others put the pressure on their deuce. Everybody. Look at, he was looking like, I'm watching. I'm watching film. I'm watching Brunson. I'm going to be a problem. So, yeah. shouts out to Deuce. Shout out to Deuce. Shout out to the Knicks defense. The fourth quarter in particular, the the Nets scored one. They scored a three to start the first quarter. Then they missed 11 straight shots. Did not score in the first eight minutes of the game after that. And that's when Dante went into inferno mode. And like you said, Ebony, I think it started with him going to the basket. It started with him going to the basket. We're used to seeing him shoot a lot of threes, getting a lot of threes up. But I think today, him attacking the basket was the biggest difference to me. Um, even like, shoot, do I have to clean the glass queued up? I don't even know if I have clean the glass queued up. He Dante is known as a guy who shoots threes, but this season has been his best scoring season and his best three level scoring season. Because this season, he's not only a three point shooter, he's shooting in the mid range, he's shooting in the low mid. And I'm sorry, I have this old, I have these old tickers up, ignore those. <laughs> but um, he's actually, he's actually been three level score. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see the orange represents the brighter the orange, the more above average it is. So if you're looking at his clean the glass stats, he's 40% from three, the short mid he's in the 76 percentile, long mid 87th percentile, um, corner three, you already sees in the 88th percentile. So he's been lining it up compared to all the rest of his seasons. He's outperforming every season from every other team he's been on. Uh, so kudos to Tibbs, kudos to the Knicks for clamping him down for only about 10 to $14 million a year for the next few years. And I think he has to keep this in mind. He has to attack the basket sometimes and not just settle for the threes, let the avalanche come, then open up with the threes. 
But I, I feel like he was a big reason why we won this game. And his onslaught in that first quarter, fourth quarter, where he, he pretty much scored like seven points by himself. Yeah, so I appreciate you. He, so. he definitely did. He had a he had two layups, like a reverse layup, and then a three pointer. I believe it was, or for Josh Hart. Or for, I, I think it might have been off the Josh Hart. Uh, like uh, when he took the ball out the um offensive rebound. I think it might have been and Josh Hart too. They both they were the they stepped up for their brother. They definitely did. Exactly. Exactly. All right. I don't know who wants who wants to talk. Lee Lee Ryan G. I know. I'm sorry. We took a, a, a whole half of the. <laughs> what did your guys think of the game? Who who feels the spirit? Go ahead, Ryan. All right. Well, um, yeah, it was a it was a um good game from the Knicks. Um, you know the Nets had hung in there for the first three quarters, and it seemed like every time the Nets would go on a little run and go up by like four or six points, it seemed like Duso he came always came through like a big three to like. Get the Knicks, keep the Knicks in in the game, and and you know you have to give them that some type of credit because they fought for the first three quarters. Ooh, really we don't even give them any credit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm I'm just saying for a team that ain't going nowhere. It's like you know they they fought, but then in the fourth quarter, you know when when the game really matters, that's when the Knicks clamped down on defense. You know, like you said, they kept the net scores for eight minutes in a eight minutes straight, miss eleven straight shots. Um, after the three, they hit the open the quarter. And Dante pretty much ignited that spark in the fourth quarter as well, scoring seven straight points. So from that time, I was pretty much, you know, locked down city. And the Knicks were able to run away with the game and win and, you know, keep their good streak going. Despite the fact that they lost in, in Denver, you know, they won for their last five. So, you know, it, overall, good game. The Knicks did what they had to do. They, they beat a Nets team that ain't going nowhere. So they pretty much just stood on business and did what they have to do, pretty much. Yeah, take their heart, man. What you, what you got, Lee? I want to give a special shout out to my Nova boys. Okay. Where, 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 am, I, where am I Nova T today? Uh, I love this trio. I think when they share the floor together, Devo, Hart, and Brunson, their level of chemistry and knowledge of each other's games lets all three of them be all stars in their roles uh, because of just how intuitive they are with where they're going to be on the floor and their tendencies, especially on the fast break. I love yeah. the give and go when all the three Nova boys are involved in that. We saw a very special one with Hart, lean it, drop it off the Brunson, and Brunson quick turn around to Devo, splash in a three. Uh, that was an absolute oh. beautiful. I think that might have been flipped. Uh, <laughs> Brunson hit the three. So it was a really beautiful to watch. And then combined, even on an off-shooting night, especially from our man JB, the rare off-shooting night, 54 points, 13 assists, 23 rebounds between them. Now, don't do the counting stats on their shooting percentage because it will mess up my whole argument. <laughs> but on, those three, on those three categories, really beautiful all-around basketball. Even Devo, defensively, he gives maximum effort uh, on both ends of the ball. And I, he's someone who Tibbs never has to worry about. He might not be able to stay in front of his man, but he would do his damnedest to do so, uh, even when he's playing huge minutes. And speaking of huge minutes, my man Deuce McBride, this was my favorite Deuce game because – it was the first time that I saw Brunson sit and Devo uh, lead the team. And we didn't just maintain the lead, but we increased it. Yes. I'm not sure if we've seen that yet. And this was the first game. And Deuce played every damn minute of his game and played unbelievable lockdown defense and was still able to be efficient from the floor and dominant from the three-point line. We have something special here. And the combination of Scott Perry, Walt Perry, and Leon Rose, Tom Thibodeau's, De, uh, finding, developing, and then maintaining talent on this team, something needs to be said about it. I think that was a trust they had in moving Emmanuel quickly, knowing what they had in Deuce and Bride, and then quickly locking him up to a team friendly contract before they completely unleashed him. Smart, smart. This is, this, this, is, this is a type of Knicks organizational competence that I have never seen in my entire history as a fan, and I'm so glad to be watching it with y'all. <laughs> Sniper gang. <laughs> Sniper gang, man. Just, you know, they was on it. They was on it. Um, I, I love to see it. Yeah, Lee. They was uh de definitely deuce. This was my favorite deuce game, too. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Deuce, deuce is a bill. First of all, high career high six threes once again for Deuce. The defense always is impeccable. Unbelievable. The confidence. The confidence. I just did not see this confidence from him last year. Like you saw him break it down in G League. You saw him do his thing in summer league. When it came to the NBA, 
just the balls to shoot the big shots has been a big difference, even off the dribble, even step back. The people draped on top of him, like he's able to do it. And even coming into the league, there was this thing where he wasn't able to finish around the rim and he didn't really have a left hand. I, th I, I, I think he had like two really tough buckets going to his left hand today. Um, mm -hmm. One, I think around Claxton and another where he put his body into, into a guy and finished at, right at the rim off the backboard. Deuce has, has been a great find for us. And I think it's like the second game in a few weeks where he's reached 20 points. And he's, he's yeah, man, he's, he's been great. He's been great. And I just like, I just like the trajectory he's on and the way we're kind of bringing him along. He's still not like the, the, the prototypical point card yet, but it's coming. You know, it, it's coming. I think we're going to just see, I think we're going to stack his confidence. We're going to keep giving him more and more responsibility as time goes along. And right now he's doing more three and D and he's involving people every now and again. He'll bring up the ball every now and again. But I think as time goes on, we're going to see next year, he's going to be bringing the ball up even more and he'll be more of a combo guard. And I think we're going to look, I think we're going to look a year or two later and go, man, remember when, when Deuce couldn't shoot? Remember when he didn't have that confidence? Remember when Tom Thibodeau had had him score 19 points against Houston and they never saw him again? Wow, we've we come a long, a long way. So really good, really good job by these Knicks and Deuce McBride taking advantage of your opportunities and just developing, developing into a strong 3 and D guy who Tibbs refuses to take off the floor. <laughs> for a team yeah. that has had all-star caliber point guard since Marbury, or maybe even going that far over than Mark Jackson, it is incredible that in a single season, we've seen three guards take significant leaps in their game with Brunson, IQ, and Deuce. Uh, offensively and defensively. It's like Jalen Brunson is one of the lead, leaders in charges. Like, this is unbelievable what we're watching. No other team has developed three guards like the Knicks have in a very, very, very long time. Like even I think the OKC Thunder, they have their Shea, which feel the same role as Brunson, but look behind him. They've really struggled. Trey Mann didn't work. Theo Maladin didn't work. Kaysen Wallace, okay, but not at the same rate that what Deuce is coming turning into in IQ. So it's really a huge accomplishment and developmental element that we're doing that with three guys in the guard position. Yeah. yeah. I, in the off season, y'all, I would say that all the time. I would say the rabbits leap, leap, leap. We're gonna be like rabbits, a bunch of rabbits, just or frogs, just leaping. You know, so I, I felt multiple leaps from different players, and and this is what you get, um, especially when when you have dogs like we do who stay in the gym. They stay in the gym, um, and when you do that, you're bound to get better. And with with, with Deuce, it was always we seen it in the G League, so he had the skills. It was just having him learn the game of basketball of NBA but the you know because it's faster it's faster it's more physical it's more stronger so that comes with being playing with playing and feeling how you can affect the game or impact the game and that's what you're seeing he is definitely watching film and he is definitely still in that gym shooting all the time so mm -hmm. because like you see today perfect like like Lee we mentioned um we've got a lot of non-brunson minutes where he did not have to be on that court, like Thibodeau wasn't forced to hurry up and put him back in, maybe right. earlier than he wanted to. He could have sat. He could have really sat him for the rest of the game, really, to be honest. He could have, but, yeah, but I respect have. that they kept it up. As soon as Brunson and iHeart came back, it didn't drop off. The intensity yeah. just kept right on. It just kept going. Like that's how deep this team is. We're going to be a problem. We are that a is, problem right now, man. Yo, and even like, can like, I say something about Brunson too? This is how the squad came through. You see Pikachu <laughs> in front. They got a squad came through. <laughs> they came through. Rolling they came deep. through for the big dog. Yeah, rolling deep. Yo, yeah. can I get some? Can I, can I, I need to give Jalen Brunson some more props a little bit. Yo, I feel like his defense. I, I know we've been talking about how you know Brunson can't really play defense. I don't know what's. I feel like for oh, I, I feel like ever since All Star break, it seems like his defense has gotten better. I don't know what it is. It just seems like his hand is always on a loose ball. He's always in the passing lane. He doesn't, he hasn't looked like a liability lately. I don't know. Is it just me? But it just seems like it's been like another level defensively for Brunson. Yeah, I think for he Brunson? Up his yeah. Oh, no, I was just saying that. Yeah, I do think he stepped up his intensity on defense. I think it's one of those situations where it's like, you know, after the All Star break, you know, you know that 
okay, you have to start getting a bit more serious in the season he, and you're fighting for positioning in the playoffs and things of that nature. So a lot of times, you know, players step up their game once it, once it approaches, you know, the playoffs. And I think he has stepped up his intensity on defense and especially with, I think, his health defense more specifically. You know, his health defense has definitely stepped up where, you know, well, a lot of times where, you know, another guy might be guarding somebody and they funnel and they funnel them in and then Brunson is there. And like if Brunson's nearby, like he'll reach for the ball, try to steal the ball again to a passing lane, try to steal the pass and things of that nature. So, yeah, Brunson has definitely stepped up his game on defense. And overall, the Knicks have been stepping up their defense as well as the team. So it's, it, all, it all is, you know, it all works hand in hand. I'm gonna look at some defensive ratings for next show, yo. Because yeah, definitely do that. Cause um, I, I mentioned in the prior shows before about uh Brunson being a good team defender. You know his his uh stature might make him a, a not the best on on ball defender. You get what I'm saying? Uh, people tend to get what they you know get angles or be able to shoot. You know, make the layup over him, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Because he can't really physically, you know, lead right. your way. You get what I'm saying? Um, so. He does what he can on that on them rotations. He makes the defenses have to think about it, you know, like, oh, oh, snap, is somebody here? Then they realize that he's smaller than them, but it's too late because help is there or whatever. Yeah. So he just makes those little plays like that that give you a second to recover or or, or as a defense, I me mean, as an offense, uh, you think about it. You hesitate, and that's enough. And um, it, it helps. And, again, he puts his body on the line. So what what he, he lacks in, in size, he makes up in, in heart and effort. So I, I, I forever – Maybe he's been that. Just give me effort. Maybe he's been watching Deuce. You know, as a smaller guy myself, now I, I realized like a lot of times defense be rhythm. <laughs> so like even if you're guarding a taller guy, you just try to break his dribble rhythm and it kind of takes him off kilter a little bit. Can I give y'all a secret to my defensive mindset? Oh shoot, I'm talking too much. <laughs> it's it's nah nah nah. It's no, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's rhythm. It's yeah, just yeah. That, uh, small it's small guy tricks. It's just your too. mindset. It's just your mindset. Yeah. It's just believing <laughs> you're not getting by me. Like you, I'm not going to let you get by me. It's like a, a cockiness of it. Just, just your effort. If I'm, if if you beat me, but then I I make up for it and just at least get back swat at the, the shot, mm -hmm. or at least put my hand in your face, or at least push you off the spot. Whatever, whatever it is, that's it. I just got to make you uncomfortable. I have it's a mindset. It's just you're not doing this to me. No, I'm not. I'm not allowing that. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Yo, salute to the chat. Salute. Salute. And salute to Tony Banks who gave a ten dollar super chat. He just wants to let you know that he here. He says, I am okay. here. So shout out to Tony Banks. Dug into the bank to give us ten dollars. Appreciate you. Uh super chats are welcome. It helps the channel grow, it helps us get seen, it helps pay the bills. So all super chats are welcome from uh, everybody watching the KOT show. Also, if you like the show, hit that like. Hit that subscribe and share, share, share the content to let people know that KOT is in the building and we give great uh, Nick analysis here for the Knicks family. So uh, I appreciate you guys. Also, if you want to talk, if you want to chat, there's a Discord link pinned to the top if you want to give your two cents about the Knicks game or the Knicks in general. So you can hit that Discord link that's pinned at the top for you guys who want to talk Knicks basketball with us. All right. All right. Yo, can we talk about Hartenstein for a second? Can we talk about Hartenstein for a second, though? I know Lee want to talk about Hartenstein for a second. <laughs> That's my main man. I love I Art. The he's finding his groove. Lost on the Knicks Nuggets game is Hartenstein's career high twenty points. Mm -hmm. He's got he's gotten to a stretch in a rhythm now too along with these other guys where they have to kind of figure out how to get points when Brunson is not going, and he's been a beneficiary of that. First of all, the the the, the Hartenstein-Brunson two-man game has grown tremendously. Brunson has been able to hit him with that pocket pass, and he's been able to either get an easy dunk or hit somebody in the short roll, and that's been great for us. On top of that, shoot, Brunson's even using him as a bailout. He's getting comfortable shooting hook shots now around the basket, um, shooting floaters from weird angles. That's not the easiest angles to take. Like I saw him take a floater from the side of the basket. Yeah, baseline. Yeah, on the baseline, and that's not that's not an easy shot. <laughs> that's not an easy shot. Hardenstein has really done a, a good job working on his game, 
And I think a career, he had 17 points. He had a career high 20 the day before. I think offensively, he's starting to grow a little bit and get even more confidence. So um, I'm, I'm really happy what I've seen from Hartenstein on the offensive side of the ball. And of course, defensively, you already know he's going to give you everything he has. And today, what did this man have today? You know he balled out today. Today he had do, 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 17 points, four steals, and two blocks with nine rebounds. Hartenstein was really, really good today. <laughs> he's on a minute, he's on a minutes restriction. He's playing 26 minutes a game and giving you 17 points, nine rebounds, four steals, and two blocks. So I got it. Yeah, you got to give Hartenstein. I've said it once, I'll say it again. The drop-off is not that much between Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Hartenstein. My guy is a dog. Um, and what I love the most about him, and we, I've, we talked about this, Jay Ellis and Breeze, is two-man game with Brunson. Those eight assists Brunson has, he has a lot of those to thank iHeart on the short roll. It's that hockey pass that iHeart gives him, and it just puts him in pristine position to find the, Brunson's mind's already thinking ahead. Who is this pass going to? And he knows once our iHeart hits him, there's going to be easy money for an open shooter or a driver to the bucket. And iHeart really is the engine of our offense in that way. And between him, OG, and Brunson, to me, those are the three highest IQ guys on the team. And we have one of the most highest IQ guys at the center position, which is rare. Uh, typically that I haven't asked to be really high IQ on offense, but I heart is, and he gives you that extra wrinkle in the offense. I think there's going to be key come playoff time when we play teams that are really, really good defensively with a lot of long wings, I heart size and be able to pass over guys and be able to really crisp, efficient passes is going to be key to get, to get those shots going and not fall too far behind in a very tough seven game series against a, a, not a Milwaukee, but a Boston or Miami it's going to be T or in Orlando, a very good defensive team. Uh, yeah. He's just, he's incredible around the basket. I hope we do everything we can to retain both him and Mitch. I will say it again, go into the apron for this team. I think it's worth it. We'd have a bunch of dogs. Let's still win this thing. Yeah. And can I add something about our hearts? All right, quick too, because watching this Knicks team, there's three shots that I trust the most on this Knicks team. One of them being the Dante defense gentle three, Another one being that McBride pull-up jumper, the pull-up mid-range jumper, and the third one being that our hardest time hook because it seems like it seems like every time he throws it up, it's it's money. It rarely misses. And hardest time's definitely, you know, stepped up his game since Mitch has been out. And it's good to see that it seems like, you know, he's getting healthier, you know, being on that minutes restriction. He's getting his rhythm back now, and he's impacting both sides of the ball. I mean, we always knew what he could do defensively, you know, but offensively now he's stepping up and he's actually scoring in double digits now and showing his game. And it was one play I loved in the game too, where I think Brunson had the ball and Dante made like a back cut. And they and then I think Brunson passed the ball to Dante and, and then Hardenstein was like right there waiting for the yeah. ball. Yeah. That's off the Hardenstein. He pumped fake for the dunk too. So Birdie. Yeah, man, you, <laughs> you definitely gotta give Hardenstein his props, man. He's definitely stepped up his game and yeah, I agree with Lee. If we, we we really have to try to keep both Mitch and Hardesty, I really don't want to see either one of them go. But you have to give Hardesty his props. He's definitely stepped up, especially um on that West Coast trip and again today against the Nets. Yeah, I kind of feel like Hartenstein, even Josh Hart in a way, like they kind of remind they kind of remind me of this like this weird like Jer Draymond Greenish type of role, where. They can kind of get everybody else shots and have everybody else kind of move around them and, and, and kind of direct traffic almost. Like I can almost see them something in that type of realm. Um, especially I Hart because he can actually his passing. It's funny, even though Josh Hart, he's, he, he gives you nine assists, but the level the level of difficulty uh the path of the passes that Hart Sign has is is, is, yes. is is just a lot harder. So uh, I kind of, I almost feel like he's Draymond-ish. This is why when, when Becky starts to say uh, about that 1A talk and, you know, he can't, and it's like Brunson can't be a 1A because of he's not this, he's not that. I'm like, yo, if we have other, if we have guys who can make shots and clutch, clutch guys, if we have other guys who can play make to take some of the pressure off, you can win a chip with a guy like Brunson, who can be a clutch shot making and play make himself. 
Like you can win the chip if you have other playmakers around him to, to alleviate some of the pressure. And and that's I kind of see that in I Heart a little bit. And sometimes Josh Hart too. Josh Hart when Josh Hart is scoring is is, is definitely ridiculous. If, if we Jealous, get Josh Hart scoring, we, we win. We win most games. Uh because you're not expecting that. That just helps your spacing. You know, um, I have been a critic, uh, you know, I've criticized Tibbs for not helping his players at some times, you know, just, you know, making them kind of figure it out on offensive kind of this when the offense is stagnant or they're struggling. But in this, this, these late games, this late stretches of game, maybe from the all-star game, maybe a little bit before then, the added movement in our offense helps everybody. So you don't put the pressure on Brunson, as you can see, because anybody on our team can possibly give you 10 points, 12 points, 13 points. And if you have that from multiple people, how do you guard that? And on top of that, you have those multiple people locking up on the other end. Now you can't score against them and they're scoring against you and you don't know really know who to guard. Like you you have their key player having a, a bad game, so to say. He's you know, Brunson didn't really have a bad game for some reason. He kept missing a lot of layups today. Yeah. He got a lot of chippy layups that, that missed out. He shot pretty well from three, but those those layups just kept coming in and out. Um, but he just it just that that helps him. Just the fact that Devo said, Hey, I'm going to go to the rim today. I'm going to get aggressive and, and you okay, you're running me off the three point line. I'm going to accept that. And now I'm going to punish you for it. Mm -hmm. And then he started, then they stopped running him off the three point line. And then he started hitting the three. He didn't have to take as many today either. And, and, and he was, he wasn't thinking about it because he's in the rhythm of the game. You get what I'm saying? Now it's just, I'm feeling good about myself. Now I'm letting it, you know, you see Deuce, you seen Deuce with the little pop. Mm -hmm. He don't have his today. He had, it was, it was a welcoming sight. Like, and I hope we can, we can take these games and build a momentum for, for the playoffs. Um, This, this added offense. So shouts out to Ted for, I don't know who's in his ear, if it's him, whoever it is, shouts out and shouts out to Tibbs uh, for this added movement because you can't guard everybody. Nah, Jalis, yeah. I, I hope you clip your Draymond Green tape because that I can see people ripping that off in about one to two months. That's a great observation. Uh, I appreciate that. Well, every time Willie says clip it, it's gone well, so I'll clip it. <laughs> it. yeah. it's, it's just it's a really great take uh, I guarantee you don't hear Perk saying that about, about a month, a month or less than a month on ESPN yeah the, the ultimate glue guy the ultimate yes. glue guy oh yo shout out to Perk who's taking my Miami these takes <laughs> saying Jake Brunson is the best point guard in the NBA man run that video up I can't have Perk out here getting uh, 6 million <laughs> views on Jalen Brunson the best point guard in the NBA and our, our, our Jalen Brunson's is the best point guard in the NBA getting 500. Y'all got to run that video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Facts. You, but, you know, it, it is kind of interesting, though, because that everybody brought that up. Because it does make me kind of wonder because it is evident that the Knicks offense has evolved from where it was, even, even in the beginning of the season. It does make me wonder who on the Knicks bench has made those changes to the offense. Like, is it really Thibs or is it or is it one of these um like assistant coaches on the bench that really has Thibs ear? And Thibs is like, you know, and now we're gonna implement more movement into the offense and now the offense is clicking a bit more. It does make me wonder who's really responsible for that on the Knicks um, coaching staff. But Josh Hart, you see, this is why I love Josh Hart because when he's not scoring, he does so many other things well and he still finds other ways to help the team win. And that's what I love about Josh Hart as a player because, okay, he, his, his three-point shot has been off the last few games, but he's still rebounding the ball well. He's still playing defense. He's still creating for other players as well. And that's why I like Josh Hart. Like, Josh Hart, honestly, if Josh Hart could ever fix his jump shot, if he could ever fix his jump shot to a point where he's actually a consistent three-point shooter, mm -hmm. he would probably be the best role player in the league. If he could just learn how to shoot the ball well. Listen, Deuce McBride, this is what I need you to do. Every time you wake up and you're shooting 253s in the morning and 253s at night, you drag Josh, Josh Hart's ass to the gym with you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. I know you're new dad and stuff, and you probably got your time divided. But drag him to the gym with you because whatever you doing is working, and it needs to work for Josh Hart too. Damn. Yeah, I was a I was a Josh Hart type of player, um, but I had a jump shot. 
<laughs> I, I I I believed in doing everything and anything to to, to for the team to win. You know, um, I was the one taking charges. I broke actually broke my tailbone taking the charge. Damn. So I was how big was I that was girl? the one. I, yeah, I was the one <laughs> taking the charges. I was the one that that you put on the best the best player uh, defensive wise. And uh, even though I wasn't, I'm not that big. I, I averaged about almost double figure rebounds because it's, it's just effort again and and smart. He's a very smart player, and it's all out. He had a play where he uh, looked like Claxton would might get a putback dunk, and Josh Hart kind of swung and knocked it out of his hand. It started to break on the other end. I, we get a three pointer, but we miss. Uh, I know it shots out the sim because he boxed his man out. Uh, Josh Hart gets the easy lay and rebound uh, for for extra two points, and that was a a, a big run. Like that was a mm -hmm. part of our our run in that fourth quarter to to extend the lead when Brunson was actually on the bench. So yeah, he when you, that's what players like that do. I always say you don't need a bunch of stars; you need a bunch of people that star in their role, and that's yep. what we have. That's what we have, no matter who it is. We have somebody that's going to step up. If I can't score, I'm going to do something else. I'm. How can you impact the ball? Mean a game when you don't have the ball. We have a lot of people who impact the game when they don't have the ball. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Ryan's. What happened? I was gonna say Ryan's take about the three shots that he trusts the most. For me, it's an I heart floater, Brunson and crunch time. No matter what the shot is, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but a Josh Hart one man fast break. <laughs> that layup is yeah. going in. He is in so incredibly efficient yeah, yeah, yeah. on the on fast break yeah. finish around the basket. It's unbelievable. Nah, I, that was a good quote too, Ryan. Yeah, when you said that, I was like, I put that up. That's what I was thinking in my head. But uh <laughs> but um definitely the I heart floater for one. Now I heart floater in the middle of the paint is for sure one. Uh yes. Deuce McBride corner three is another one. Pull up midi is another one for Deuce McBride still. And Almost a three point shot from anywhere from from, from uh, Dante. I'm trusting that shot, but I, yeah, I agree with you guys. I just need to trust Bojan and Burks a little bit. Oh, more. oh no, I'm over uh, that. I'm over that. <laughs> How about the shots I, I trust the least? <laughs> what are, no, that's a great question. That. What are the shots that's you that's trust that's the least? I, I, I yeah. trust the least. Alec Burke going baseline. That yeah. is woo woo. I I be praying. I'm telling you, I be manifesting. Please do, please something on this possession. Be positive. Don't let yep. him turn it over. Pass the ball or something. A shot. We got this. We got this. Burks. Sometimes it works. Most times it don't. But I don't. I don't. Mm. I don't. I don't know. I like Burks baseline. Know. I'm praying for Burks because I did see life in the Nuggets game. I did see life. He had 18 points. I was like, okay, Burks. If you can play, if you can play like this. I can live with it, but then, to, but then today against the Nets, I, even though he he didn't shoot the ball well, I I don't think he played bad per se. I just think his shots weren't falling today. But Boyan Bogdanovic, Lord, oh, it, it's it, it's bad on that side. It, it really is at, <laughs> at the moment. And like I think I think I think Bogdanovic's gonna need a baptism. He's gonna need like that's exorcism. That's I don't I don't know what it is, but we are gonna have to put this man through some heavy prayer yeah. because. He he's not showing up nothing like himself right now. He's yeah. he's sticking up the joint. Honestly, he had low lights, y'all. It was a possession. <laughs> it was a possession where my man got backdoored right on defense. Oh and yeah. The following yeah. offensive possession, he airballs a, a shot like low light stretches. Like, come on, Bogey, come on. Yeah. And I am really hoping that that Mitch can help them out, just staying on the court consistently because you're getting on that that was those two possessions right there was enough for, for Tibbs. you get what i'm yeah, saying yeah for sure. like, all, right, come on all right guys life on the line if your life is online who do you want taking a three josh hart precious achua oof <laughs> I'm dead. I thought you liked this, Jay. I thought you liked this. <laughs> Life on the line. Alec oh. Burks or Bojan? In a Nick Josh uniform. Uh, uh, yeah. Is it clutch time? It, clutch. It's clutch? Oh, Josh Hart. Uh, Josh Hart, Josh yeah. Hart. If it's clutch, yeah, Josh Hart, yeah. Josh Hart. Third quarter. <laughs> Josh Hart. Third quarter. If it's precious. <laughs> <laughs> precious, precious is all man precious has come down and again we see what when you play limited minutes sometimes uh you need the more minutes to, to play into rhythm good point 
Um, you need that extra time to find your way. Some people find it quicker in games than others. And we might be seeing seeing that a little bit with Precious. And uh, we might see that uh, he has a, a certain type of center. Uh, granted, he's 6'8", but a certain type of player. He, he you, you just shouldn't put him on. Man, so y'all trust Josh Hart over Burks and Bojan right in now. the clutch for the three-point shot? At this point. As a New York Knick, maybe if they was in Detroit, no. But right. as a New yeah. York Knick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I need to ask that in the chat. Chat, what, what, what's y'all answer, chat? Y'all let me know. Who do you trust? I see Burks. I see Hart. Reluctantly. I see reluctantly Hart. <laughs> like okay, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like it's in the clutch. Okay, I'll go with hard. Yeah, I, I kind of trust them. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got to make sure you find out if it's fourth quarter. Heck, nah, for Bojan, not in a Nick uniform. Oh no. Yep. No. Agreed. No. 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 All right. Yeah. Shoot. Hmm. I don't know. I might. I don't know, yo. It's a toss up. I might. I might go Burks. I might go Burks. Art. I don't know. I don't know, man. You, you see it, how it, Lee it, had mentioned last? Uh, huh? I'm sorry. I was like, right. I was like with Hart, if it's, if it's a clutch corner three, I'm going with Hart. <laughs> man. Let, let him get that little step side thing he do. Shoot. The step, Shoot. yeah, the step. Yeah, man, he made that one step side thing. He never did it again after that. <laughs> <laughs> he said he can't. He said, I understand. He's trying to stay on the court. See, some players know what they can and cannot do. You understand? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He take too many of those. Tibbs might sit him next to him. So he's like, he I'm might, good with those. I mean, he Only might. Only when be, I have to. <laughs> I mean, he might want to do that to get some rest. He played 44 yeah. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just, just, just throw up a wild shot. Of tips, like, okay, that's a timeout. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> was, it, was it Hart, Hart, and Devo that played the whole second half? I think I heard the whole. They didn't sit down. And and, and Deuce, who played all forty eight minutes son. for. Yeah. <laughs> and Bojan Bumdanovich did not come in the second half. So Tibbs, Tibbs saw what we saw. He didn't come back in. Streets is saying that if he if he had to guard a street light, he couldn't. I'm streets. I'm the streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So everybody's saying her. I, mean, I, I think I'm. I think I'm just too. That Miami series traumatized me. I think that's what it is. Like, because I've seen Hart hit clutch threes, and then I've seen him get scared and not shoot in that Miami series, and it still it still makes me like, come on, man, you gotta take those. But yeah. I, I I have seen him hit some clutch threes in the Nick uniform. I'm not gonna hold you. But it is what it is. Yo, s- salute to the chat though. Hope you're liking the conversation. You hope you're liking the post-game show. If you like that show, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and share, share, share. Yo, thank you guys for sharing. Cause the sharing, I you know, you say hit that like, hit that subscribe and share. Somebody actually shared it, brought some new subscribers to us. Now I see the new subscribers in the chat. And they be interacting. They be like, "Yo, we love KOT." Da, da, da. So I'm gonna just keep saying that because it seems like that's resonating, and it's working, and it's and it's bringing us uh, more family. So hit that like, hit that subscribe, and also share, 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 share. Let people know that KOT is here, and we do good work here, man. We, we break down the games. We give you some some a little bit of humor. We give you some props. We do it all. All right, <laughs> we do it all. So shout out to everybody. Alexander picks for Timmy. Uh, Dread New and Grill. Shout out to Lee's Pops. I see you. In, yeah, I see you in the building. Everybody rocking with the show. I appreciate you. Always appreciate you. Kev Lo, Kev everybody. Any new people in here? If you're new, let me know. I'll give you a shout out and, I, and, and let you know that you are here. All right. So shout out to everybody on the show. New people, let me know. New people, let me know. Anything else you guys uh, want to say before we get yes, to Yes, the... actually. Go ahead. I do. You know, I got something else to say. I always do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um they they uh I just wanted to show y'all about the dominance in that second half that in a defensive end. Um in halftime points, there was Bridges had eleven, Cam Johnson had eleven, Cam Thompson had ten, Schroeder had four, Taxon had four. Mm-hmm. And uh Lonnie Walker had nine, right? Mm-hmm. It was Lon- Lonnie Walker and um Sharp, they was they were starting to their bench did well in the first half. I remember like everybody on yeah, that's when they got their, their lead was in the yeah. bench. Mm-hmm. 
their whole bench had a positive plus minus, and it was their 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 starters that didn't have a positive. The whole uh, their starters was not not negative or whatever, right? Um, sorry, they finished. Bridges we allowed Bridges only scored seven points in that second half. He finished with eighteen. Uh, Cam clack. Johnson only. Cam Johnson only scored two points. He finished with thirteen. Deuce clack clack. <laughs> Claxton only scored one more point. He finished with five. Hartenstein. <laughs> and Sims. And Don't Sims. My and game. Sims. 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 I'm sorry, Precious, but we need we needed yeah, yeah, some yeah. height against. We needed some yeah. height against these centers, yo. Precious, Precious needs to. Sh Precious man, get the jump shot good. You got everything else, man. Yeah. Get the right. jump yeah, shot right. good. If you get the jump <laughs> shot good, you can really stay in this league, because. You're gonna be undersized for these centers a lot of times. So you, a lot of times you're gonna be have to be guarding these like power forwards, small forwards, and we can't really have you guarding these seven foot centers and getting kills. Like just get that jump shot right in the summer, you're gonna be fine. Facts. I missed the first half of this game. Did he get injured? Who? Precious? No, no, no. He, he just couldn't he guard. He wasn't oh, okay. doing. A, yeah, he couldn't okay. guard. Uh, this game that was too big. You know, Claxton. Yeah, he's a very athletic. And yeah, then they had Shark, who was very, very, he was very uh active, you know, physical. Yeah. And in the first yeah. half, he was making a stamp on the game, but they shut him down. Mm -hmm. The offensive rebound yeah. was, was was hurting us. Yeah, here they, they kept they kept him off the boards and um they kept him. He only scored what three? So, no, he didn't score at all in the second half. Uh so we we definitely shut those that shouldn't be shut down and then shut those who who yeah, we thought we couldn't shut down, I guess, if you want to talk about Mikhail nope. and Cam. Exactly. Uh, so yeah. Exactly, exactly. I see you, Dread New. Shout out you new to the chat and new to the fam. Shout out to you, Dread New. I see you. That's Dread New. What's up? All right, all right. But yeah, defense, our defense. We got out rebounded. We didn't have 30 assists, but we had 20, what, 25, 26. And our defense carried us along. Uh, so yeah. on top of our others coming through, the defense kind of hammered it home. Yep, helping the 44% from the field, 35% from three. Did not score an 11 straight tries in the fourth quarter. Held them scoreless for eight minutes in the fourth quarter. That third into the fourth quarter was, was really crucial. I feel like they got lucky to hit. Yo, these last minute three point shots is crazy. First of all, that that yeah. 70 foot three point shot from Mikhail Bridges, I was scared. I thought it was a bad omen. <laughs> it sounds like, oh no. <laughs> it's like, how the hell did he make that? That three point shot into the cam three point shot to end the third quarter, that into the, the Dennis Smith Jr. three point shot to start the third to tie the game. I was just like, you were just pulling away. Yeah. What is happening yeah. right now? <laughs> like, are they trying to upset us? But thank yeah. God for Dante because Dante just went ham. And just went yeah. to the basket, scored like seven straight points, was assisting people. Josh Hart got some crucial rebounds, passed out for me, bribe for another three point shot. The team just came together. So shout out, shout out to the yeah. shout out to the Knicks, man, who did it all without Jalen Brunson. I mean, Jalen Brunson played, yeah. but without Jalen Brunson playing his best usual game. Best yeah. They 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 were shooting 50%, I think like 50% during parts of the game from three, the Nets, that is. And they were shooting like uh, over fifty percent from the field at one point. I believe that was around around first the first half halftime area. Th and then um, I got it. This is where I'm gonna give my boy Sims credit. Um, they they sat I heart. They put a lot more. They didn't put uh, Precious in. They put Sims in. Sims had more minutes in the first half than he had in the whole game versus Denver. So maybe Tiz recognized, hey, I should have probably play Sims a little bit more in that Good game. Yeah. Nah. You yeah. were saying that last game. Yeah. But yes. So so maybe Tibbs realized that he made the adjustment. I see you. He yeah. made the adjustment this game and, and Sims ability to to like play up no matter what, far up on the perimeter, bust a lot of pick and roll plays. And then he he recovers very well. Um and he he plays he plays very, very, very like hands up. It was a possession in the game where he's guarding Cam Thomas. And Cam couldn't go nowhere. And then they they put the double, and he tried to go back. Um, uh, do um, sorry, Sims his way, and he gets the steal. Yeah, sets up for the offense, makes some offense. So Great like, point. um, he he really, we were shooting fifty percent at one point, and that that just shut them down. They wound up 12, 12 for thirty four. They shot thirty five percent. So that's a big, you know, come down from 50%. That, that's a <laughs> and, fact. Um, and, yo, even though that the, was part of it, even with the Nuggets game, even with the Nuggets game, Ebony, 
it was the same thing was happening. We started to make our run when we had Sims was in the game. And actually, Sims and Precious was in the game. We made our run versus the Nuggets. And it's not even that Precious can't make those same reads because Precious actually plays well too. He's very mobile. He's one of the most mobile bigs in the league. It's just that Sims is also mobile, but he has more strength, more length, more of the physical tools to, to bother the other bigger type of center. So it's the versatility is he has a little bit more versatility for us he that we, we need. Feet, and yeah. I'm glad that Tibbs leaned into it this game. Yep. And, and shouts out for picks for Timmy talking about look at him, look at Tibbs trying to go uh make it to Rap City. Facts. Uh, he do this in the, he do this in the playoffs. So I'm gonna give him an invite. I'm Let's gonna give go. him an invite. Exactly. Big you can call him big ticket in a minute. All right. Big fish. Hey. Yo, shout Jay, you got a nice shout out there in the chat from Jay Boogie too. Yo, I was just about to bring my mind. Shout out to Jay Boogie. He says, KOT, love y'all all to the fullest. Let it be known that JL is one of the ones who brought Jay Boogie into the podcast light salute king with three capital S's. I did? Let's uh, Jay, I ain't know that. <laughs> Let's go. The close. Shout out, Jay. <laughs> Shout out to the other Jay, Jay Boogie. All right. All right. And I saw some other comment that I wanted to point out. I feel like um Alpine. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alpine. New Yorker in Amsterdam here. The early tip off allows me to partake live. Okay, so you be watching, you just be watching the, the replays or the, the tapes. I salute to you. All the way, great taste, guys, and especially Ebony. All right, salute to you. Yep. Appreciate having you out live in the chat with us. All right. Agreed. And shout out to JT Reddick, man. I see you, man. Shout out to you. OG KOT guys in, in the chat. All right. Yeah. And uh, I've seen Jericho Hive up here, Alexander Fax. Jericho Hive. Yeah, Jericho Hive. <laughs> Jericho Hive. All right. Definitely. Big fan of Jericho. Big, big fan. Right. Big, big fan. All right. All right. I think we got everything out there, so it's time to get to what we like to call Bruh. the bruh picks. The bruh picks are the worst plays of the game. Also, they don't even have to play. They don't even have to be this game. They could be any game that happened recently. Also, it doesn't even have to be a game. It could just be something stupid, something dumb, idiotic that you want to point out that it's some that is stupid or dumb. Like, give it arenas. Bruh. Bruh pick. We give him a bro pick every day. And Paul Pierce. Don't forget. Oh, Paul, Paul Pierce. Pierce. Yeah, Bruh. Yeah. Mandatory. Mandatory. <laughs> One bro pick a day a day keeps Paul Pierce away. That's how we. <laughs> <laughs> so stay away from us. All right. <laughs> don't talk about us until you have to wear, the, wear that Jalen Brunson jersey. Because if you did not know, Paul Pierce said that the Knicks won't make it out the first round. And if he does, he'd wear a Jalen Brunson jersey. So, bruh, Bourbon. Mm, exactly. <laughs> Can't wait for that. KG, hold that man accountable. All right. Back. <laughs> All right, let's give it to it. Bruh picks, bruh picks. Who got him? I know Ryan G usually got a lot. Yeah, I'm going to have to um, string, string off a few because. Yeah, you know, me not being here for the last episode, it kind of piled up a little bit. And, you know, March Madness is on. So oh. I've seen some things. Oh, I actually so, had know, one, too. So, so I, you know, I got, I got, I got you. know, I got, I got to let these out right quick. Oh, so. I got I got you. So Brian got the, he got the cannon out today. Yeah, I got the cannon. cannon. The rocket, the rocket yeah, launcher. Too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, like, I definitely got to let some out today. So <laughs> first one, Jordan Poole. I, I feel like this dude is on... I feel like this dude's a bro pick like every other week because this man's always doing something crazy. But it's not even it's yeah. not even the fact that he did something crazy. It's the fact that the Wizards were against the Rockets and my man got his shot blocked five times in one game. Damn. Bruh. He's the Javel McGee. <laughs> <laughs> of 2024, for sure. <laughs> Facts. Next bro pick goes to former... Nick Great, who plays for the enemy now, Porzingis, because my guy was going up against the Bucks, and he had the ball in the post. The Bucks triple teamed him. Jalen Brown was open in on the wing for three, and my guy thought he was in a different position. 
He passed the ball out of the triple team and went straight out of bounds. Nowhere, nobody in sight. Aww. Bruh. That's the playmaking I remember when he was in New York. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, did this guy have it? I don't know. I don't know about his passing. Yeah, that's that's what I remember. Go ahead, go ahead. And about who he was passing to, though. Well, that's, that's true. Bumps that time. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> we didn't have many options here. I right about that. Munson. Tim Hardaway Jr. Oof. Yeah, it it was pretty terrible. My <laughs> next broad pick, James Harden. That was mine, like, damn it! I feel like this is a, I feel like this is a who's man's who's man's man is this? this? I knew he was going to take it. My guy drove in the paint. Kawhi Leonard was open for three against the Blazers. He passed the ball to Kawhi in the quarter for three, and my man actually ran out to close out on his old player, Bruh. shooting the damn three. That was crazy. <laughs> that was I'm gonna try to find that one, yo. I'm gonna try to find that one. That's me, Dar J. Ellis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the most defense I've seen James Harden play in, in his, however many years of basketball. Right? Facts. True that. And the thing is, like, yo, if I was on the Blazers, I would have been like, I would be like, word, like y'all think so low of us that y'all that y'all think that y'all could fool around on the court. And be like that, like yo. I, if I was on the Blazers, I would have so much smoke for the Clippers the next time we see them. I would have been like, nah, we not gonna let this roll. Yeah. Like, that's mad disrespectful, yo. It is. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't even find a video. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then my next bro pick, we get into March Madness because there was some foolishness going on, and I have to address it. <laughs> I know, the, I know, these are some young players, but you know, still, we we still gotta address it though. Number one. Florida Atlantic University because the game was tied 58 to 58. There was like six seconds left on the clock. Florida, Florida Atlantic had the ball. Their guard brings the ball up the court. Mm. Six seconds left on the clock. My guy's bringing up the ball up the court slowly like as if there's a 30-second shot clock. And my man is taking his sweet-ass time. And the clock is running down. He's not he's not doing anything. He's just standing there and he's like moving slowly. And then the announcer's like, what is he doing? <laughs> and my guy throws up a contested three and gets blocked. It goes to overtime. Then Northwestern buses day ass in Bruh. overtime to win the game and advance and advance of the tournament. Ah, uh, yeah. Clock awareness, not as strong suit it seems. Facts and as a guard, it's like, come on, man! Like, you, you gotta do better than that. Gotta do better than that. And then my next bro pick goes to the University of Kentucky. The whole university? This is yeah, the University of Kentucky because this team has NBA talent on it. They are a very talented team, and when they're hot, they're hot. They can play with any team in the damn nation. They go up against Oakland. And I'm like, Oakland beats them. And I'm like, it's upset. I'm like, okay, you know, Oakland, you know, Bay Area, they got some ballers. I can respect it. I can respect it. Then when I look, this is not Oakland in Oakland, California. This is some college in Michigan. So I was like, okay, your team is full of NBA talent and you get beat by a bunch of damn farmers. Bruh. <laughs> 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 Farmers with actual yeah, maybe I do better. Farmers with like real like actual hoes, not like. <laughs> he said. He said, since y'all such geography experts, where Gonzaga at? Tell me where Gonzaga. At. <laughs> he said, since University of Oakland in Michigan, where where the heck is Gonzaga? <laughs> it's a good question. Where the heck is Washington? Oh, yeah. And then my last bro pick. Go to the refs because oh. Sanford against Bruh. Kansas. Because Kansas, they were shaking in their boots. They were they, they were on the verge of getting upset. They had a one point lead. Sanford cut down a 22 point deficit and came within one. Kansas had the breakaway dunk. And and the dude from Sanford was chasing them down. The dude, the Kansas dude went up for the dunk. The Sanford guy had the clean block, blocked him cleanly, and, and the Sanford got the rebound to bring the ball back up the court to try to win the game. The refs call a foul, 
and give Kansas two free throws, and then Kansas goes on to win the game. Bruh. Damn, NBA refs taking night jobs now. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking with I'm talking with the mute again, y'all. Uh my my one of my bro picks is definitely a ref. So so we're gonna continue that after Ryan finished his rocket launcher. I feel like he I, he got more. I feel like he let off like he yeah, just sprayed the room. <laughs> he did. And I still got because you know it's always a room full of these right here. Can y'all see them? <laughs> Cream see corn. Corn corn can yeah, a can of corns. Yeah, definitely. It's always room for one of them. Um but yeah, I uh <clears throat> my first are you finished, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, wait, hold on real quick, y'all, because my battery is always about to go dead. Um, yeah, uh my my first my first bird pick is Tony Brothers. Uh -oh. Tony Brothers. Uh-oh. Yep. Who who gave my man CP3 his second technical because he called him a TikTok. <laughs> and then my man CP3 being the, the, the petty man that he is and I love. Go ahead and, and from his account, his Instagram puts the, the, the TikTok of Tony yeah. Brothers on there talking about how he really wanted to be a judge and how they did nobody would accept him or whatever, right? For the just sorry, for the judge for being a judge. And so his mom taught and got him a job and they got him a job. His mom was got him a lot of jobs. That's what I got from it. And um <laughs> she told he he met somebody that told him how to get to referee. He said so. Then he couldn't be a judge that he wanted, but now he's the judge, the juror, and all that. Mm. That sounds like a power hungry mofo to me. So let's get to the, the yeah, definitely, bro. Pick Bruh. has to go to the TikToker Tony Brothers. <laughs> Damn, yo, he did a whole he did like a whole story time and it's yeah, on his yeah. Team? You can find it if you Google if you Google CP3 right now. Me uh, like put it on X right now. CP3 and uh Tony Brothers. It comes right up. That's crazy. Right up. Oh damn. Um, so that that's my sorry y'all that's my first one, uh my second one has to go to Des Moines. That's that, am I saying that right from Iowa Des Moines? How you say that? How you say that that city? I I think it's Des Moines. I think so. Yeah. I think. Okay, so yeah. Des Moines. Yes, the police department because Iowa State beat Maryland. The women's team Iowa State beat Maryland. Uh, and um, there's a, a young lady by the name of Audie Crooks on her first March Madness. This is her first March Madness. She scored 40 points. She had 12 rebounds. Shout out to Audie Crooks. And she shot 18 from 20, y'all. Mm. So Des Moines said, let, it, will, it will be a smart, it will be a good, 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 good idea. So let's support this young lady that just got a win for our college team. You know, let's support this lady by saying, uh, some crooks nobody can stop. With a picture of her on there. Oh Read my the God! That's Moines police. Oh my God! This young lady looks very like she might be of mixed descent. You get what I'm saying? So read the room, bro. Read the read the Son, room. Are you serious, bro? That's serious. I'm gonna send it to you wow. in the group chat. I am so serious. They that was that's what they thought would be smart. Wow! Holy! So yes, like the. They 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 just totally totally missed that. That's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> wow. I sent to the group chat. Definitely did, but yeah, um, they bugged out for that one. And my my last one, uh, Ryan had to Florida Atlantic. The, uh, was it? Did I say right? Florida Atlantic. Yeah, yeah definitely. Florida, that one Florida deserved Atlantic. it. Yeah, that one definitely deserved it. But that that's that's my bro picks of the day. That, that I'm in it. shock. Holy shit. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. What 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 her picture? Who's like, man hey. is this? Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. Who's that's man is this? That's, that's, that's worse wild. than a bro pick. <laughs> Who's <laughs> man is this? That's crazy. Yo, I was I was watching the highlights too. Like, yo, she was like Shaq in the middle, yo. Like she like yo, these Maryland girls, like they look so small compared to her, and she was just overpowered them just body. Just yeah, just nothing but points in the paint. N nothing but points in the paint. Yeah, that's yep. crazy. Any 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 bro picks, Lee? If y'all can believe it, back to back nights with only oo pits, no bro pits. Oh, uh, oo pits, okay. So I'm watching the Nits game, and so I had celebrity roll, and I'm like, oh man, I, who is this bum? Josh Lucas, right? He's like in a basketball movie, I'm like, whatever. And then they show the, the net celebrity, Talia, who sings that song Water, my girl. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, she gets a little. For someone who doesn't have a type, 
She's my type. Made you sweat. She is a baddie. And I love that song. Every time that song comes on, I, I get my little mode in my car. And I'm like, let's go. <laughs> Full thought mode. Uh, anyways, oh. uh, my, my other picks. Recently on Twitter, I announced my five funniest people on Twitter. And I wanted to announce that here on my KOT show. Uh, <laughs> shout out Ari Hoops 84. Go follow these people at Ari Hoops 84. <laughs> At Ben Him 16, at B More Light State, gotta love State, <laughs> Dude, at wild, Stacey man. Patton 89, and to round out my top five funniest people on Twitter, at Ryan G K O T. It gets me wrong. When Ryan goes on a rant, there is no one funnier who has a funnier stream of conscious humor than my man Ryan G. I love it when he gets angry. Those are my top five funniest Yo, users. I'm not gonna hold you. I used to, I used to, back in the day when we had our pod. The old school pod. I used to just poke at Ryan sometimes on purpose to get him angry because he would get pissed <laughs> and he, it would be like the most epic rants ever. <laughs> I love it. I don't have, I'll do that no more. I'll do that no more. Ronnie, I mean, I mean, I would, I, would do, I would do it more often, but it's like it's less for me to rant about nowadays because <laughs> when you know, Nick's are doing so well. It's like it's, it, there's not much to rant about, really. It's like Nick's are good now, so I was like, yeah. Yo, my favorite thread is Ryan versus Sergeant Sources. That is the absolute funniest thing I've read on Twitter all year is when he goes off on Sergeant Sources, uh, <laughs> aka Friday Night Nicks. Robert, Robert so oh, Sergeant man. Sources retweeted it and, and had tweeted I, I, one of my tweets. I didn't know how to feel. I was like, <laughs> did I say something wrong? No, uh, I didn't know how I felt. How to feel. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Sergeant Sources retweeted one of my tweets and then blocked me from responding. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I was like, "Yo, what the hell?" So I responded to him and at him, and I was like, "You mad corny for retweeting my joint, and then calling me stupid on a t- retweet, and not letting me respond." So I added, "I was like, yo, this guy was stupid." <laughs> uh, and speaking of one of the guys, for other guys from your your list, I'm I'm actually going to stage us be on stage pod, probably right after this. Uh, salute, oh hell yeah! Salute, oh, that's what's salute to stage. Salute, yo, Major salute. I want to laugh because after you said you like what's the girl's name the make me sweat girl? Oh yeah, Tyler. Tyler, the girl that don't know what Here girl she want to be. Here come Fritz with his comment. Do the dance. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just caught the image. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Fritz, who you telling me? You telling Lee to do the dance? Who you telling me to do the dance? Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a walking pause. Come on now. Oh god. No it, 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 yeah, no diddy now, right? Yeah, no say. diddy. Oh yeah, no diddy. <laughs> yeah, no diddy. No diddy nonsense here. Yeah. No, no diddy. No, no take that. Take that. None of that. No diddy. Oh yeah, man, that's, that's that now that's gonna replace pause. No diddy. diddy yeah, that's what's about to replace. No diddy take your place in pause. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no diddy that's replace it. in pause. That's that's what the streets or are. Or Emmy says comma. Oh, yeah, it's like a comma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man, yo, salute to the chat. Yo, oh man, I saw some people. So people kind of creep in here after the fact we, we, we when we was cooking. Um, damn, I want to just salute to you guys. I might have missed that. Shouted us out. Shout out to <laughs> shout out to Drip Moore. He says, "Yeah, deuce gunshots. You know it. You know it." Shout out to Gideon. I'm on Quasis. Salute to everyone. I see you. Also, shout out to David. He said S is silent. S is silent. And that oh, talking about uh, well. Des Moines. Yeah, Des Moines. Thank you, thank you, David, for that breakdown. Appreciate you. Shout out to Danny <laughs> Landis. It says J Ellis salute, bro. Big win today. Everyone chipped in. Absolutely right. And the Mara Seacon. Knicks beat Nets. Knicks run the city, not the Nets. Exactly. We gonna send the Nets back to Germany. Yeah, I just that's want nice. to shout out right quick to whoever corrected us with, you know, with that pronunciation of that city in Iowa, because, you know, as you know, we're all from the city and we're not familiar with a lot of farm areas, so we don't know the pronunciation <laughs> of some of these cities, so thank mm-hmm. you for pointing it out to us so we can say the name correctly, because, we're, yeah, we're not familiar with a lot of farm areas, you know, mm-hmm. Iowa. Mm-hmm. Farmerpedia. Yeah, and, and, and even the words I'm familiar with, I have trouble with. So you know, I got my own dictionary. It's called Epster Dictionary. Like <laughs> it. And I read my fingers, so I'm a lost cause. <laughs> I'm a lost cause. All right. <laughs> all right, yeah. 
Salute to the chat. Good show, guys. Oh, man. That was fun. It's always fun when we lose. And every time, you already know, man, after we, every time we beat the net, just find, if you can find a net fan, because I know they're hard to find. <laughs> if you can find a net fan, just let them know. Just torture them for me. And let them know That's that we run things and wrong. that you're small and insignificant and you don't mean anything to this world. Like, just let them know that, okay? <laughs> Put them in their place. Because there was there was hot stuff for like a year and a half. Thought they was running the, the world, and now that they're down, keep kicking them. Cool, all right. <laughs> Find a Nets fan and kick them. Not literally, but you know, <laughs> depending on how annoying they are. Yeah. So yeah, I I just like to be annoying to a Nets fan just for sport, just just for sport. <laughs> all right, that's the show. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the show. Hit that like, subscribe, and share, 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 share. Please share. It's bringing, it's bringing more people to the family. I'm seeing people in the chat who, who weren't here before because you guys are sharing. So it's working. You go in the family. So salute to you guys who are helping us um, grow the KOT fam. So shout out to the to new family members. Um, I feel like AP has been here a few times. Dread New is in here. He, he seemed like enjoying the show. I appreciate you. And Grill. Uh, Neymar Sikhan. I never I don't think I've ever seen you before, Neymar. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. But salute to you guys and thank you. Enjoy the show. Sharing is king. That's right, Danny. Let them know. Sharing is Dan is caring. All right. All right. That's the show. Let them know. Let them know where can they find you. Where can they find you, Ebony? I know you gotta go to the show. Um, you can find me here every post game. You can find me on uh Twitter X. Oh, that's the same thing. You can find me on on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. That's what I was trying to say. X came out. I don't call it X. Twitch at Mad Nick Fan. You know, I have the uh your take Knicks pregame on, on Twitter before every before every uh Nick game. So yeah, that's the and balling with the Queens during the Liberty season. So all right, all right. Double duty. All right, Lee, let them know they can find you. Any books? Shout out JL it's a shirt, Hillman. Uh, we all grew up on a different world. And speaking of having taste, I mean, Chris Summers, Don Lewis, Lisa Bonet, those are all my type too. But a bunch of baddies on that show. Some of my first crushes growing up as a young. Star. Okay, Yo, uh, leave, leave, me, leave me liking the chocolate. I'm not going <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the track record. I, <laughs> I haven't seen you. <laughs> I'm going on the track list of all your your, your likes. So I'm just like I'm noticing a common thread here. <laughs> <laughs> are we sarcastic did they have ass yes that's my type uh, <laughs> find me on twitter at underscore lee escobedo l-e-e-e-s-c-o-b-e-d-o -E 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 or just search hashtag bum and you'll see me and uncle fig folio battling out in the comment section today's book club got one for actually jay ellis frank miller's ronin if you like the return of a dark knight if you like daredevil uh -huh. two classic comic book runs frank miller not only did he create this he wrote the whole thing and illustrated the whole thing as well. Frank Miller is a brilliant um, comic artist. Unbelievable. This really, like, it's, it's all inspired by, by manga, the Japanese uh, cartoon and comic book form. It's a gorgeous book that Samurai Jack, uh, is, that show is inspired by this book. This book came out in the 80s. It's about a samurai. He's a ronin, means he doesn't have a master. And he just transported the future and has a fight, artificial intelligence, and all these zombies and mutants. It's an unbelievably beautiful very gory book, but it's been getting me through this weekend. Shout out Frank Miller, Ronan. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, I have to study. Um, I have an art background, if you guys don't know. I went, to, I went to school for a comic book illustration, actually. And we had to study Frank Miller and uh, Sin City. They gave us Sin City to read. So shout out to Frank Miller, a really great book. artist. Yeah. You want to learn about structure? If you're into art, you want to learn about structure, how to manipulate black and whites. Use simple black and whites to tell a story and be clear. You studied Frank Miller, so shout out to Frank Miller. Okay, Jay Ellis dropping the gym. Love it. The art history. Yeah. I mean, I went to art school for like half my life, for like eight years Badass. or so. So <laughs> it never leaves. It never leaves. You know your stuff. I know my stuff. I know my stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. What you got? What you got? Uh... Oh, yeah, Ryan G. Let him know. You. First and foremost, thank you to Lee for the shout out. I appreciate it. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Ryan G K K O T. You can also find me on Instagram at Sergi is chilling. Sergi is chilling. 
That's S I R G C H I L L I N. And just for the people, I'm going to see if I can create more dialogue with Sergeant Sources and, <laughs> and to create more comedic content on Twitter. <laughs> Arch nemesis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. My, my arch nemesis is commercials in halftime. <laughs> <laughs> and phone chargers. Phone chargers. That's it. Laptop that. chargers. My phone, everything stayed it stay on low. I see. My phone. I, I, I'm a turn ASAP. Yeah. Me. <laughs> Actually, that's a true story. That's a true. <laughs> it's going as soon back. as you get solar automatic, solar powered recharging laptops and phones, we're gonna be, we gonna be out of here. <laughs> my, once a, once a day and I charge it just so I don't have to keep the charger on the battery like exactly 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 <laughs> all right salute to you guys salute to the chat um yeah I don't do I have anything I feel like everybody's gonna recommend something like, I should recommend something I, I, so shout out to Timmy he said he's gonna check out Invincible that show is amazing very amazing that show is amazing but um, that's the show, guys. You can follow us at DKOT Show on Twitter, The Nick of Time Show on Instagram, and The Nick of Time Show on Facebook as well. Also, shout out to Javier. I just saw you. I saw the alert went off that you just subscribed to the channel. Salute to you. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. One more than that to the KOT fam. Appreciate you. And yeah, um, you can find us on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. And definitely check us out for the next show. We will be going live after which game what's the next game monday against the pistons monday against the pistons so that should be should be a win the pistons gave us a scare last time so we're gonna see evan versus evan spider-man <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's if i ever can even get on the damn court exactly exactly if, he might have played his way to the bench right exactly <laughs> yo if you're gonna check out anything check out uh yo check out the, that future kendrick's kendrick Lamar song man i'm i'm hyped yo you don't understand you do not understand because i grew up on hip-hop grew up on hip-hop um the last good battle i've seen was drake versus Pusha t that was like the last really good battle i've seen j cole for a long time has been talking about how he wanted to get into ring to prove himself and there's nobody really around to battle. Jake, oh, this is your moment, man. Exactly. This is your moment, man. He called you out. He called you out. He yep. said he's not. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. If you're into hip hop and you into that type of battle and stuff, then you probably enjoy yourself like, like I am right now. So salute to those guys, uh, the top three. And sorry, Big Sean, you're, you, you let out all this new music just for it to get stepped on by uh, Kendrick Lamar and yeah. Future Beef. I and shout out State, you. who's in the chat. Uh, State, you're in my top five funniest people on Twitter. We love you, bro. We got to have you on the show for sure. Yeah, shout All out right. to State. State, funny as hell. Talk about <laughs> <laughs> hurry your ass up. At, oh, we holding yeah, you. Yeah, hurry your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's like that. <laughs> she said LMAO State. <laughs> 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 yeah, we ended anyway. Stay, shout out to Kev Love. Stay, I see you, man. Yeah, shout out to Stay, my bro. He funny. Oh, man. Like, man. All right, man. That's the show, y'all. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And you go to drill as always. Shout out to World Wide West. Everywhere we go, we leave a worldwide mess. It's a mess out here in these Knicks YouTube streets. That's the show. We out of here. Peace. That was funny. <laughs>